Hello, welcome back to NMI. Um, life is not always fun and we cannot always play with our old computers. A couple of days ago, my hot air station stopped working properly and I have to fix it. And this is what we are doing in this video. So I have my uh, hot air station here and it's uh, the hot air is blowing constantly so it's not turning off and uh, I already open it opened it here is what we have the front panel here we have an IC here I it's not the code the package code here or the markings uh, uh, I'm not familiar with that I see there is an operational amplifier I believe this guy another one here this is a BTA this is probably a triac or SCR yeah this is an opto probably an opto triac now I found that let me show you if I turn it on see it's always on the the fan here uh, there's an internal fan here that blows the air right uh, it's cold air because the it's not power on but it shouldn't be blowing air like this right so there is some kind of short that is causing this fan to uh, be always on now if we follow the wires here the, this is where the this uh handle i don't know what's the name of this but you know where the fan and the heater they are so this is the cable and it comes here some wires go here so one thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna disconnect this guy here and power connect it to the mains again and turn it on see it's still running the fan so that wire those wires are not the ones that I'm after disconnect everything reconnect this guy now two other wires are going there see so I'm gonna disconnect this guy and try again oh okay now the fan is not running so that is where the power to the fan is coming from now i'm gonna reconnect the this guy if we power it up see the fan is blowing again what, what the next thing I'm gonna do I want to check the temperatures right so let's take a look it's powered off I got disconnected from mains this BTA here it's fine there are three power elements here this other one yeah this guy is also not even warm oh this guy here is really warm so <laughs> That tells me that that guy, there is something wrong with it, right? Either it is shorted or um, the thing controlling it is causing it to be always on, right? So I'm going to remove this PCB and we're going to take a look at that guy.
Okay. Uh, tip one, two, two. Tip one, two, two, two. Here we have. What is that? That's uh, seventy-eight oh five, right? And that is a BTA sixteen. Yeah. DTA 16 so I'm gonna measure this guy okay so here we have the BTA no sorry the tip whoa <laughs> that is a short yeah looks shorter to me I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna have to use my other Soldering iron. And here we have our transistor. From what I recall, this is, I think, a Darlington transistor. Okay, now let's check it again. Now that it's out of the circuit. Oh yeah, shorted. I believe I have another one of these. Okay, I just received the replacements, I just got the transistors. Uh, let's see. Yep, tip 122. Okay. Here I have the PCB. I'm going to put this aside. Transistor goes here. Uh, I'm gonna, before soldering, I'm gonna screw it there. only keep it in place but you know make sure that we have the right spacing on the wires underneath turn on the soldering iron um, what is this this is this a microcontroller TM1628 no idea what is this there is another IC here which also has a part number that I'm not familiar with let's see if I can yeah yeah no idea what these guys one of them or both are microcontrollers for sure but I have no idea or, or exactly what kind of microcontroller or anything. Um, okay, so we're gonna solder those three. I'm gonna, yeah, this is probably ready, I hope. Let's see. Yeah. So, I'm gonna solder it, and 
considering that the one that was installed here was shorted I'm hoping that this new one is gonna solve the problem and my the the fan is gonna stop blowing because the problem was that the fan, the fan was blowing all the time so as soon as you turn on the station it would start blowing air oh and there was no speed control which was the worst part now I'm hoping that this was the reason now I'm gonna reconnect Reconnect everything here. sure to be honest because I think I missed the right connection there now it's too late let me see if I have another picture no I don't so maybe you're gonna see an explosion no Explosion. Nice. Oh, it's working. Okay. So, turn it off. So it was the transistor. Now, yeah, my mistake was that I thought they were these connectors, these three connectors on the bottom here they were different i mean you, you can you would not be able to swap them but i just realized that they are you can swap them fortunately there, there's like a white uh, sorry a red kind of glue and it's kind of possible just to, to tell which one goes where right so that's why i got lucky Okay, now let's perform just a quick demonstration. I don't have the soldering iron here, it was working, so don't expect it to not be working, but that is also possible, but I'm not gonna check that now. So we turn it on. Oh, let me connect the here, these guys. you can see here that if I turn the hot air on it's working Oh yeah, because the, this one is for the soldering iron, of course, and this one is the control for the hot air. And if I turn it off, 
it should even if oh I, I can still control the speed but it's gonna keep blowing air until it reaches a hundred degrees and then it's gonna turn off awesome I'm happy I don't have to buy a new one let's see Yeah, the air is just warm because it's off and it should power off the, the blower here, the fan here, as soon as it, yeah, it's working. Awesome! Well, that's it for this video. We fix another one. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel to, to and, and enable the notification so you can get notified when I post more videos. Thanks for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time. Bye!